Hello everybody, welcome to Trassy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about law of conservation of mass and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to law of conservation of mass. This is the first video related to this topic and its practice problems. So let's see what all questions we'll be covering in this video. What weight of sodium chloride is decomposed by 4.8 gram of sulfuric acid? If 6.2 gram of sodium bisulfate and 1.825 gram of hydrogen chloride are produced in the same reaction. So first of all, we need to analyze what is given and what needs to be found. Here, sulfuric acid is given as 4.8 gram, sodium bisulfate is given as 6.2 gram, and hydrogen chloride is given as 1.825 gram and we need to find sodium chloride. The foremost step is to write the chemical equation and for that we need to figure out the reactants as well as the products. So uh, let's read this equation again to find out the reactant as well as the products. Uh, what weight of sodium chloride is decomposed by 4.8 gram of sulfuric acid. NaCl was decomposed by uh, H2SO4. So that means these two are reactant. If 6.2 gram of NaHSO4 and 1.825 gram of HCl are produced, so that means they were formed as a reaction between NaCl and H2SO4. So these two are the products. So now it's easy for us to write the chemical equation. So the chemical equation is NaCl plus H2SO4 gives you uh, NaHSO4 plus HCl. This reaction is a double displacement reaction. If you're thinking the next step is to just substitute the value and get the answer, you are wrong. Why? Because in order to satisfy law of conservation of mass, we need to balance the chemical equation. So we cannot substitute the values like that uh, in this equation and get the answer. There is a proper procedure to that. As mentioned in the video uh, related to steps for solving the numerical problems related to law of conservation of mass, uh, we need to first of all balance uh, this chemical equation. If this uh, equation is balanced, uh, then we can proceed further. If it is not balanced, we need to balance this first. So uh, we will move step by step. First of all, let's see whether this equation is balanced or not. For balancing a particular equation, there are some rules we need to follow. So I'll quickly write the rules for that. First of all, we need to balance the number of metal atoms on both sides. That is the uh, reactant and the product side. And then we will balance the number of non-metal atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. And then we need to balance the number of hydrogen atoms. And at last, we will balance the number of oxygen atoms, if required. So first of all, we'll balance the number of metal atoms. The metal uh, in this equation is only sodium. So let us balance the number of sodium atoms. Uh, here on the reactant side, it's one, and on the product side is also one. So sodium metal atoms are balanced. Next, we need to check for the number of non-metal atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. So we have uh, two non-metals, that is chlorine and sulfur. The number of chlorine atoms on the reactive side is one, and on the product side is also one. So this is balanced checked. The number of sulfur atom on the reactant side is 1 and on the product side is also 1. So this is balanced, checked. Then the hydrogen atom. Uh, in this case on the reactant side there are two hydrogen atoms, okay, and on the product side 1 plus 1 is again 2. So this is also balanced, checked. Next the oxygen atom. The number of oxygen atoms on the reactant side is 4 
and on the product side is also 4 so this is also balance checked that means this equation is already balanced now as this equation is balanced so that means that the total number of atoms of different elements are equal on both the reactant as well as the product side as this equation is balanced now so we can apply the law of conservation of mass rule which is total mass of reactants is equals to total mass of products so now let us find our the total mass of the reactants and the total mass of the products first and then we can substitute the value in this equation we need to find the missing value which is sodium chloride so I will take it as X now these are the reactants so the total mass of the reactants will be mass of sodium chloride plus mass of sulfuric acid so the mass of for sodium chloride I have taken as X and the mass of sulfuric acid is given as 4.8 gram and these are the products so the total mass of the products will be mass of sodium bisulfate plus mass of hydrogen chloride so the bisulfate airs are 6.2 gram plus hydrogen chloride is 1.825 gram so this will come out to be 0 0.025 grams now we know the total mass of the reactants and the total mass of the products we can just substitute the values to get this missing value as for the law of conservation of mass if this equation is balanced then total mass of the reactants is equal to total mass of products you need to remember that we cannot uh, apply this law of conservation of mass to an unbalanced equation we need to balance it first the total mass of the reactants will be x plus 4.8 gram and the total mass of the products is 8.025 gram so x will be equals to 8.025 minus 4.8 gram and this will come out to be 3.225 gram so the mass of sodium chloride is 3.225 gram part 1 ends here you can watch the second part to view other questions in this video